Okay, bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. This is Seal Serge Remeli in Albuquerque Air Balloon Festival. In this episode, I want to talk to you about speeding up your workflow by using presets and once you've retouched a photo, copying that preset onto another one and finding the right colors. Here we go. All right, guys, so this is where we left off yesterday. Uh, I, I showed you how I did this panorama. If you didn't check yesterday's episode, check it out on my YouTube channel. It's all about how to do panorama. Now, I, want, I didn't show you much. If you've seen video number one and, or video number two of this series, I didn't show you other photos that I did and other retouching. So let's carry on and let's see. So for example, one thing that they do that I love in, the, um, uh, in this uh, competition is that uh, they try to get the balloons to come and take a dip in the, um, in the Rio Grande River. And so there were still some fogs. So what I did is I, I right away put my camera on high speed shooting so that I could, you know, and, and I was shooting at, I think, 220 millimeter at 1 to 50 of a second. Just as a rule of thumb, uh, if you want to have a sharp photo, try to get your shutter speed to be as much, if not more than uh, your, uh, your focal length. So if you are at 220 meters, 20 millimeters, you want to be at least at 1 to 50 or 1 to 20 millimeters or above. I was at 1 to 50 plus I had stabilization on, you know, I was at f8, ISO 100 and voila, it's very important. So I did this and so that's why every photo is kind of different, but I was shooting, you know, uh, look at this. I was shooting, I was trying to get it when it's going to touch the water, you know, high speed mode, high speed mode, high speed mode. And and at the end, it was not moving when it touched water. So I even took an HDR, one, two, and three, just in case I would use it, but I don't think I would use it. So now when I have a, a photo like this, I got two choices. Uh, I can either use one of my signature preset or I can take a photo that I like. I can, let me see, the three star photos that I have. Oh, this is one that I already did. But for example, uh, we did this one, I think. Now that's the pano, that's the pano. Yeah, this one, for example, I kind of like, so I can, I can go and press Command Shift C, copy, check all except cropping and say copy. And then let me take that out of the way. Let's, let's go back to where I was. So I was on this photo, I think, or this photo, and I can press Command V and, and see how it looks. You see, now the color was way different. I kind of like it, but again, this is a signature preset that has been kind of retouched. So you see here, my, I can tell right away that my regular filter is a little too strong. So I'm going to take this one and um, I'm going to move it around or I'm just going to lower its power. You, know, you can just lower the power so that it doesn't add so much red. And, you know, it was getting a bit daylight. It was not anymore so much su su you know, sunset. And you can move it around to see what it gives a better effect. You see, uh, there's one thing you should know is uh, an object which is partially lead is more interesting than an object which is fully lead. If I put this color everywhere, it can be kind of cool, but having it just there is, because that's kind of how it was, it's kind of cool there. So I'm going to just move that. Let me check my linear gradient. Linear gradient. Voila. And uh, now one thing that's super important when you use your linear gradient you, you, you know, I can focus. I think the sky is not bright enough. And in this case, I'm going to make this darker. I'm going to make this bluer. I really want the blue sky to come out. Now, the problem is that it's it's making the mountain really dark. So I'm going to go to brush. If you've seen me doing this over and over, if you feel on a channel, I'm going to go to erase, making sure auto mask is on, making sure flow is around 50. And by, you see, moving the middle mouse, I can make my brush smaller or bigger. I'm going to take a big brush. And I'm going to click and uh, make sure that minus is within the mountains. And I'm going to click here and here and here. Voila. Okay. And voila. And so look at this. So now that that's linear gradient is really affecting mostly the sky before after it's affecting a little bit the mountain because my flow was at 50 so what you can do is you can take auto mask off make your brush a little smaller and you paint inside but making sure you don't go near the the border above the mountains otherwise you're going to make a little halo effect you don't want that 
no halo effect. That's not good at all. Okay, that's good. So that's my linear gradient. I think, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't check the bottom one. You gotta check both. So, you know, when you use my signature preset, so on this one, I don't want the water to be dark. So I'm gonna adjust it. Again, you know, preset is only a starting point. Okay, and uh, I think I'm gonna take my brush. You know, the idea, I really wanted to show you how I actually really do this work. Uh, exposure, okay, so th I'm just gonna use a brush with a bit of exposure making sure auto mask is off in this case and that flow intensity is around 70. Why? If you have auto mask on when you brush, it's gonna make really weird things. Uh, auto mask is great when you really wanna brush just something and not something else, which is not what I wanna do here. And flow intensity is just that we don't see the brush stroke so much. I just wanna make the Rio Grande as a little bit brighter, a little so that we have more attention. I mean, I'm so proud to have that foreground element. And voila, so I took my last preset, I copied it there uh, you know, maybe add a little more contrast. I want to go crazy on the contrast. Maybe a little bit more vibrance and saturation. If you don't like it, you can go the other way. You know, some people don't like too saturated colors. You're welcome to change that slider. But me, I want to make, I want to make sure this photo goes really everywhere. So I'm gonna per survey more saturated photos do better than necessary. I mean, you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to go like here. You know, like ooh, this is ugly. You know, there is a limit. And the thing is, you know, most of the saturation is around the reds, which is kind of cool. You don't want every color to be saturated. That's why vibrant is is kind of cool because it's it doesn't saturate everything. You know, I do I would don't want the green to be more saturated than that. And if you want to go crazy on saturation, you can you know go here. Oh, that's you see part of my preset. Uh, that's part of my signature preset. You see, I've got all this saturation. I mean, my signature preset is more than 25 settings in one click. So it does a lot. It does you know, my sharpening is done, my nose reduction done, my uh, you know chromatic aberration is done. Lots of things are done. Voila, voila, and I'm happy. I think oh yeah, there is a big sensor dust there. Actually, it's a couple. Oh my god, yeah, that morning my sensor was not good. And actually, this photo was my most liked photo of all times on Instagram, over three thousand three hundred likes. It's my personal record. I so that's why I'm happy about it. So, and basically I'm just gonna keep on doing that, uh, which is, I'm gonna, let me show you in full screen. I'm gonna keep on copying the preset and going to a next photo uh, until I'm done and through the photo, I'm gonna give a three star because I think it's really good and, uh, and voila. So that's really how I work. All right, before I wanna leave you, I wanna remind you that the five day deal is here, you got 4,500 minutes of training uh, from many, many top photographers around the planet, 96% off, $117 in instead of $2,200. And if you buy through my links, which is under this video or on my website or in my newsletter, if you use that link, first it helps me, and second, I'm gonna give you for free my all my signature collection, 300 presets for free. And in this, uh, in this year bundle, you've got so much stuff. You've got five exclusive courses, uh, including some from Alex Kolosov, uh, Klaus Ehrman, which is two people I really look up to. You got my Photoshop for Photographer, completely there, Joel Grimes. You got, um, look at this, you got The Art of Photography by Jerry McIntyre. I love this guy. The Art of Photography is normally a $99 course. It's free if you buy the 5D deal. I mean, there are so many things. You got Kevin Pinon's Photoshop workflow. Uh, that alone will pay for the for the 5D deal. Model Flow Pose. Uh, Darlene Hiddlebrand from Canada, her Lightroom presets, uh, the DPS ebook bundle, so many good stuff. Uh, you gotta check it out. It's the best deal of the year. There's only one set of tutorials you wanna buy this year. This is it. This is it. Click the link under the video. You will not regret it. I promise.